We have to understand that all American energy, energy from the wind and the sun, geothermal, which we also have here on this campus at the University of Illinois at Chicago, it's very, very important that all of us uh, embrace renewable energy. We have to be a sustainable society. Okay, these are the two laws that put us on the right path for a solar future that uh, is going to really create a lot of jobs for our state. So, thank we have to have a green way of thinking uh, and a green way of acting. And today we are going to be acting on behalf of setting specific targets for solar energy in our state of Illinois. By the year 2015, not that far away, we want to have 6% of our energy supply from solar. Illinois and Chicago in particular have more usable sunlight than some other places in the country that you might think would be sunnier. And that would be Los Angeles and, and Atlanta, Georgia. We have usable sunlight. We have uh, the opportunity to convert the sun uh, on less cloudy days into energy, electricity, uh, that can really power our computers, our, all of our facilities that use electric energy. Uh, we have to remember just not that long ago, seven years ago, there was a blackout in the Northeast. Uh, it was a very serious blackout where New York City and Cleveland and Detroit, even in the Canadian provinces of Toronto, they lost their power for a long period of time. And I think uh, that certainly indicated to me and I think to many, many more people in our state the importance of having renewable energy, that we cannot be dependent on just fossil fuels. So I really am impressed by the fact that our campuses, like the University of Illinois at Chicago, are leading the way in the use of renewable energy. And that's why we're here today to sign the bill. When I was Lieutenant Governor, we began the Sustainable University Compact, which all of our community colleges are involved in, as well as our four-year universities, public and private, uh, looking for ways on campus to use solar energy, to use energy from the wind to use geothermal, to be more energy efficient. So it's very, very important that we do this because it's important for jobs. Green equals jobs. Uh, the prosperity of the 21st century is very much dependent on our ability to be more energy efficient, to use renewable energy in a way that saves all of us uh, emissions and reduces uh, pollution and helps the environment. Uh, all of this is key to our economy. These jobs do not get exported to another country. They stay in our own backyard. The IBEW, the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, they're the ones who put these solar collectors on uh, various facilities. So it's important that we understand that if we really embrace uh, renewable energy and all American energy, we're creating jobs right here in our own backyard, building skills that will last a lifetime and pay good wages. We are now stepping out of what is considered, I think, uh, an old school of thought with respect to energy policy uh, nationally and, of course, here in the state of Illinois. We're making transitions to a more sustainable policy that I studied here many years ago and uh, giving effect to uh, with this legislation, asking that our utilities ramp up, so to speak, uh, their compliance with uh, acquisition of alternative energy sources. We have solar panels here on these uh, buildings that we see here today, and there are, of course, other technologies that have come to uh, uh, come to fruition and application here. But this is going to happen throughout the state of Illinois, and as well it should. This is long overdue. Uh, and we're also adding to this a, uh, a homeowner's solar uh, bill of rights where they're allowed to place solar panels on their homes irrespective of what might be uh, limiting and restrictive covenants uh, with respect to homeowners, their participation in homeowners associations, condominium associations. So this is far-reaching legislation. Also, the job creations aspect of this is, is exponential, and I don't think that we can underscore the need to start addressing the issue of job creation right here, not only in Chicago, in Illinois, but nationally. Um, this was a piece of legislation, the homeowner's solar, the solar bill, homeowner's rights bill, was a piece of legislation that was constituent driven. There was a, a couple that live in the North Shore who wanted to install solar panels and their homeowners association told them that they couldn't do it. And uh, we took a look at it and realized that the most covenants and association covenants disallow or are silent on this. And so this piece of legislation that I worked on essentially says to new home buyers who are shopping for a home 
that every association has to have a covenant so that up front, home buyers know whether or not they're going to be able to purchase this home and install these kinds of alternative energy um, panels. So it is a delight to be here. It's a delight to work on yet one more piece of legislation with Governor Quinn to move the ball up the field for the people of Illinois, and I'm grateful to be here. Thank you.